Good morning, Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist, Baird Vince, and we're seeing quite the setup as we go throughout the rest of the week with sunshine and 60s, eventually 70s. Let's go ahead and break down why we're seeing that. We've been tracking this low pressure trough. This decreased those temperatures over the weekend, and now we're setting up for a high pressure ridge moving on in with a little bit of that southwesterly flow. That means warmer air is on the way, coupled with drier conditions. Those drier conditions are going to allow more of that sunshine and more energy to reach the surface of the earth, increasing those temperatures gradually throughout the next few days. So a lot to look forward to. And if you want to start working on your tan a little bit early, you know, it might be a good week to do that or just get out and uh, enjoy a hike. I bet those mountain biking trails are also quite soft from the rain we got this past weekend. With this high pressure ridge tracking on in, that means increasing temperatures, drier air, more sunshine for a beautiful Look ahead. We're going to be seeing clear skies already over Mount Garfield on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. Temperatures right now we're increasing. We're in the 30s still for a little bit of those chillier conditions lasting longer than expected this morning, but three mile an hour winds are giving us a break from that wind. We're going to be seeing those temperatures just shy of those seasonal averages, but we're going to be seeing a little bit of that wind hiking up to about 15 mile an hour peak wind gusts later on this afternoon for a little bit of a breezy day, but temperatures are going to be quite nice, so that breeze will probably feel pretty good. Temperatures right now, though, we're in the 30s and 20s waking up. We're gradually approaching those highs, getting into the 60s by this afternoon for some really beautiful conditions with clear skies on the radar. This is going to be the case for today. Uh, with not any chances for showers or really not a cloud in sight over the state of Colorado as we're waking up. And as we start to take a look ahead at this afternoon, that's going to be the case with those clear conditions. We might see a few clouds roll on in right after 5 p.m. And then we're going to clear up again in the overnight hours for some Really nice, clear conditions. High pressure is going to be taking over. This is circulating around all of that drier air coupled with a southwesterly flow moving in warmer air. And with that drier air, that's going to be leaving us without cloud coverage, more of that sunshine reaching the surface of the earth. So really nice conditions. Check it out. We're in the 60s in Grand Junction and Delta. 50s kind of everywhere else. Tonight's going to be kind of back and forth between freezing and not freezing. We're not going to get there here in the Grand Valley, but pretty much everywhere else we're going to get quite close to those freezing temperatures, especially along the Roaring Fork River valleys and the higher elevations in Pitkin County and Gunnison County as well, getting down to 21 degrees. But tomorrow, check it out, getting close to 70 degrees here in the Grand Valley and Delta, 63 in the Incompagre Valley in Montrose, and then even temperatures close to 60 in the higher elevations in Aspen and Gunnison. So beautiful conditions. Check it out what we have for the rest of the week. Getting into the 70s by Thursday, overnight lows getting above freezing here in Grand Junction as well. Temperatures dropping though this weekend and Montrose slightly cooler, remaining in the mid 50s before the 60s and then 70s on Thursday. So a whole lot to look forward to as we're going to be warming up throughout the next few days.